Okay, Assalamualaikum. Our next topic adalah. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Our next topic adalah conditional probability, independence and the product rule. Okay, so the previous study you have learned how to find the uh, uh, the probability of an event, how to find the probability of an event. And today we proceed with the conditional probability. So what is the conditional probability? It is the probability of an event B occurring, contohnya, if Contohnya, the probability of event B, event B occurring when it is known that some event A has occurred before. Okay, so this event dipanggil conditional probability. And notation untuk conditional probability, if B, probability of event B occur when it is known that event A has occurred, it will be P. Probability of uh, probability of B given A. Okay, ini uh, if kita panggil probability of B given A. The symbol P B through A kat sini uh, is usually read as the probability that B occurs given that A occurs. Or simply, we can say that the probability of B given A. So, noted as this probability B given A will be the probability of event B occur when it is known that event A has occurred before. Okay, let's say kalau kita tulis probability of A given B, okay, kalau probability of A given B means that probability of event A occur when it is known that probability, uh, known that event B has occurred before that. Okay, so that is the conditional probability. So how we can get this uh, probability. So this is the formula. Okay, to get the probability of B given A, it will be probability of A intersect B divided dengan probability of A. You know how to uh, find this probability, okay? Probability of event A intersect dengan probability of event B divided dengan probability of A. <coughs> event A. Okay, let's see. Kalau kita nak cari probability of Okay, how about this? Probability of A given B. Okay, we're going to carry this probability. So, it will be probability of event A intersect event B ataupun kita boleh tulis juga sebagai probability of event B intersect event A. Sama saja. Okay, divide dengan probability of event Okay, so apa beza antara these two formula yang given yang uh, had occurred before berada di bawah. Okay, so that is the formula of conditional probability when we have two events. Okay, let's see this example. Okay, let's say our simple space is the population of adult in a small town who have completed the requirement for a college degree. We shall categorize them according to gender and employment status. The data are given in table 2.1. Okay, so from this cross tabulation ataupun contingency table, we can have the information about the number of um, Adults in a small town, um, whether it is male or female, and whether that male or female is employed or unemployed. Then total of the population adalah 900. Okay, one of these individuals is to be selected at random. Okay, for a tour throughout the country to publicize the advantages of establishing new industry in the town. We shall be concerned with the following event. A man is chosen, we denoted as M. So, F untuk female. Okay, F untuk female, M untuk male. And E, the one chosen is employed. Okay, so unemployed, saya buat sebagai E 
complement. Okay. Okay, so then we find that to find the probability of M, the man will be chosen, that we know that the man chosen is M part. Okay, so it is M given E. So the answer will be 23 over 30. How to get this? So actually, we need to use this formula, right? Which is the probability of this one. Probability of E intersect M divided dengan probability of E. So kita dapatkan probability of M given E. So how to get this? Probability of E intersect M which is male employed which is 460. 460 ni adalah um, adalah uh, number of adults that which is male and is employed. Okay. Itu baru bilangan. Okay, bilangan. Tapi kita nak cari sini probability. So, you need to divide dengan total population which is the sample space which is 900. So, because of that, it is 460 over 900. Yeah. Okay, and then we need this value. Probability of E. Okay, probability of uh, employed adult. So, this is the employed. So, kena total up semua sekali. Employed which is 600. 600 adalah quantity. Okay, number of employed adults. Okay. So, kita nak cari probability. So, you, we need to divide dengan total sample space which is 900 total population. So, because of that, the probability of E adalah 600 over 900. So, to get this probability of male Man is chosen when we know that that man is employed. The point male given employed is will be 23 over 30. Okay. Okay, let's see this example. And the other example, eh? probability that a soccer game is on is 0.4. What is the probability that it is a rainy day given that a soccer game is on? If the probability of soccer game, soccer game is on and it is rainy day is 0 0.3. Okay, and then given that even A adalah soccer game is on <coughs> and even B adalah event of rainy day. Okay, notationnya A dan B. Okay, and then uh, the information also give us the probability of the soccer game is on, which means we have the value of probability of A. A, sorry, I'm about to A. Game is on. Probability of A is 0 0.4. So, and then also, given the probability of a soccer game is on and it is rainy day. What does that mean? Okay, it is mean that even a probability of even a intersect by the end can intersect um even b it is rainy day is 0 0.3 okay so alan di sini what is the probability that it is a rainy day given that the soccer game is on so what can you write down the questions I want you to find Probability of it is rainy day, so B given soccer game is on, which is A. Right? So it will be probability of A intersect B divide with probability of A. So it is 0 0.3 divide 0 0.4. So the answer is 0 0.75. So we can say that 75% chances that 
the socket game is on when it is a rainy day. Okay, given it is a rainy day. Okay, the next question. Okay. Event A and B are two events with the probability of A is 1 over 3, probability of B is 1 over 2, and probability of A union B adalah 3 over 4. Find the probability of B uh, given A. So, using the uh, formula, it is the probability of B given A over probability of A. Okay, so but now here, kita tak ada probability of A given, uh, sorry, A intersect B kita tak ada kan? So we need this. We need this. How to get this formula? Sorry, how to get this value? Okay, we have this. Okay, so we can use the additive rule, which is we know that probability of A union B equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersect B. So, so um, once we have that, uh, we can apply the formula, then we will get property of A, intersect B will be, um, what about that, 1 over 3, plus, one over two minus three over four. Is it true? From the additive rule formula. So the answer will be one over twelve. So once we get this value. So you can apply the formula of the conditional rule here, which is the probability of A intersect B divided by probability of A. Okay, how about the second one? Okay, the second one. It is probability of A complement intersect B complement okay, over probability of B complement. Okay, we simply can uh, can uh, calculate the probability of B complement, which is we have probability of B one over two. So probability of B complement will be one over two, right? But not really. Kita kena tengok dulu sebab dia ada intersection. So what can you do from this? Okay, saya lagi senang nak nampak kalau bagi saya. You try what Venn diagram because of you know that probability of A intersect B adalah 1 over 12. Okay, let's see what Venn diagram we have probability of A. Sorry, we have even A, we have even B. Okay. So di sini 1 over 12, right? Okay. Okay, event B is 1 over 2. Semua sekali sini, 1 over 2. So, this area will be 5 over 12. And we know that probability of A is 1 over 3, keseluruhannya 1 over 3, and this part 1 over 12. So, you just minus the value, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 12. You will get here, 1 over 4. Okay, so when you add up this, Three, you will get three over four. Okay, but we know that the sample space, a sample space, the probability of a sample space is one. So need to add three again. So maksudnya ada one over four di luar sini. Is it true? Okay. 
Okay, so what we need to do is we want we need to find this A complement intersect B complement. Which one? A complement intersect dengan B complement. Selain dari A intersect dengan selain dari B. So the value of this one will be actually this. Actually, this is the value of probability of A complement intersect B complement. Divide probability of B complement will be 1 over 2. Okay, how about C? Probability of A, A complement uh, given B. So it will be probability of A complement intersect B Okay, divide dengan probability of B. Okay. We already have the value of probability of B, but we, we need to find the probability of A intersect given B. Which one? Which is the probability of A complement selain dari A intersect dengan B. So, the value is 5 over 12. Okay, divide dengan probability of B, which is 1 over 2. And then you will get the answer. Okay, all right, the next one. Okay, dalam your textbook ni ada lagi uh, some of the example and together with the answer, you can you can uh, read and observe. And then if you have any other question, you can ask right there. Okay, so the other one is independent event. Two events, A and B are independent if and only if this value uh, fulfill. Okay. So any example here. Okay. I, can do, I explain this example. Suppose that we have a fuse box containing 20 fuses of which 5 are defective. Okay, so yang good adalah 15. 15 good, 5 defective. If two fuses are selected at random, okay, and removed from the box in succession without replacing the first, maksudnya without replacement, what is the probability that both fuses are negative? Okay, so macam mana kita nak buat ni? Two fuses. Okay. So here we can see that we have 15 good fuses and we have 5 defective fuses. Alright. So kat sini kata we show that A be the event that the first fuse is defective and B be the event that the second fuse is defective. Dia nak cari probability of the fuses are defective. So, ada dua possibility uh, to get the fuse which is whether it is good or defective. defective. At the first selected, okay, the probability to get the good fuse will be 15 over 20. And the probability to get the defective fuse will be 5 over 20. Okay. So, at the second selected, sama juga kita nak pilih sama ada good or defective. Good or defective. Okay, if we have the good fuse at the first selected so because of this is oh, without replacement so kat sini akan jadi 14 14 over 19 so tak sebab dah ambil satu good so tinggal lagi 14 per 19 sebab dah ambil satu kan but di, untuk defective dia still ada lagi 5 ok untuk you nak check whether your Three diagram ni betul ke tidak, you can tengok lah kat sini. Bila you tambah this property, you will get 1. Bila you tambah this property, you will get 1. So, di sini dah ambil satu defective. Uh, good 
Still ada lagi. 15. So, 15. Okay, 15 over 19. Okay. And we'll be here. Dah ambil satu defective. So, tinggal lagi 4 over 19. Okay, so sekarang kita nak cari probability with, uh, to get two defective. So, dua-duanya defective. So, this one lah. D and D. So, 5 over 20. Multiply 4 over 19. You will get 1 over 19. Okay. Okay, the other example. If one bag contains four white balls and three black balls and a second bag contains three white balls and five black balls. One ball is drawn from the first bag and placed unseen in the second bag. Okay, what is the probability that a ball now drawn from the second bag is black? Okay, so this is the illustration we have got. First drawn, it had four white and three black. So the probability will be four over seven and three over seven. Okay, and then for the second uh, selected, dikata dekat sini, one ball is drawn from the first bag and the place unseen. Okay, dia akan masukkan dalam second bag. So, bila masukkan dalam second bag, okay, if we choose black from the first bag, so, uh, the second bag will be added another black. So, actually, second bag tadi dia kata ada only five black balls. So, dia akan bertambahlah jadi six. Altogether, akan ada nine. So, here will be six over nine will be selected. Here will be three over nine. Sama juga dengan this one. Bila dah ambil, ambil satu white from the first bag. So, the white um will be uh, added in the second bag so the white one will be uh, increased okay the white balls will be increased in the second bag so it will be four here and stay again five black okay so so alanya uh, what is the probability that a ball now drawn from the second bag is black Okay, drawn from the second bag is black. This is one lah. So it will be this black. Okay, so okay, another one. So because of that, this is the answer. 3 over 7 multiply 6 over 9 plus, but ada dua possibility, 4 over 7 multiply 6 over 9. So the answer will be this. Okay. Alright. Contoh yang sama. Okay. And then another um, theorem adalah uh, the theorem of the independent event. It is when Two event A and B are independent. Probability of A intersect B will be equal to probability of A multiply probability of B. Okay, just we can multiply probability of A, multiply probability of B and ianya sama dengan probability of A intersect B. Contohnya, tengok example. A small town has one fire engine and one ambulance available for the emergency. The probability that the fire engine is available when needed is 0.98. And the probability that the ambulance is available when called is 0 0.92. Okay, in the event of injury resulting from a burning building, find the probability that the ambulance and the fire engine will be available, assuming they operate independently. So, maksudnya kat sini, ambulance dengan fire engine. Dia independent lah, tak ada kaitan di antara fire engine dan ambulance. So, untuk dapat kena cari probability of um, a intersect B. Okay, the probability that both of the ambulance and the fire engine will be available. Just kita multiply probability of uh, probability of the event A multiply the probability of the event B. Okay. 
Okay, saya tunjuk another example untuk independent. Okay, let's say this. A coin is tossed three times. Okay, an event that hit occur on the first toss will be this. Okay, bila toss the coin three times, you akan dapat dia punya sample space adalah, akan ada lapan, betul tak? Okay, dia punya sample space akan ada lapan, lapan combination. Akan ada eight combination. Hash, 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 t, hash, hash, t, hash, dan semua tu akan ada lapan combination. Okay, so event A adalah event that hit occurs on the first two toss. Okay, which is the first two toss occurs hit. So, it will be hash, 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 t. Okay, event B pula, event that the tail occurs in the third toss. Okay, in the third toss, so it will be uh, hash, hash, t, hash, t, 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 hash, t, 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 t. Okay, kalau you nak confirmkan all of this event, you boleh buat three diagram lah. Ini kan hash t, second toss, hash t, hash t, and the third toss. Tiga kali kan? Okay. Okay, so apa yang kita akan dapat di sini, kita akan dapat hash, 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 and this, hash, hash, hash. <coughs> di sini, hash, hash, t. Okay, di sini, hash, t, hash, hash, t, 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 hash, hash, t, hash, t, 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 hash, t, t, t. So, all together, you akan dapat. 8 combination. Okay, event A adalah event that the hit occur on the first two toss. The first two toss hit occur. So, it will be this one. Hash, 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 T. And the first uh, hit occur on the first two toss. So, akan ada dua. So, dia punya ni adalah N A will be two lah. Okay, number of event A occur is two. Event that the tail occur in the third toss Tail occur in the third toss. So this, this, sorry. Tail occurs in the third toss. Okay, this, hash, hash, t. Hash, t, t, okay. T, hash, t, and t, t, t. Kan ada empat. So number of event B, element in event B, ada empat. Okay, even that the two tail occur in the three toss. In the three toss, two tail occur. So, sini ada satu je. So, this one, hash t, 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 hash t, and t, t, hash. Okay, so it is three. Okay, even c is three. Okay, so we have this. Sorry, it is. Show that even A and B are independent and even B and C are dependent. So I, I can erase all of this. Nampak pula. Alright, show A and B are independent. We know that according to the theorem, A and B are independent if the probability of A intersect B equal to probability of A multiply probability of B. So we need to, we need to find the probability of A intersect B first. Okay, what is, what it is? Probability of A intersect B, these two events. Ada intersect tak? Hash, hash, t kan satu. So, it will be 1 over 8. Okay, and probability of A adalah 2 over 8. 
and probability of B adalah 4 over 8. Okay, so to know uh, probability of, to know the event A and B are independent or not, so we need to multiply this to probability of A, multiply with probability of B. So, just multiply this to 2 over 8 multiply 4 over 8. Uh, multiply 4 over 8. It is 1 over 8. Okay. So, it shows that even A and B are independent since, okay, you can write down, uh, you can, we can say that A and B are independent since probability of A intersect B equal with the probability of A multiplied probability of B. So this is the proving that A and B are independent. Okay, how about B and C? Dependent. So you need to find the probability of B intersect C. Hmm, what is what is that? B intersect C, these two events. At the intersection between these two, it is hash dt and t hash t. It is 2 over 8. Okay. And then probability of B adalah 4 over 8. And probability of C is 3 over 8. So try to find probability of B multiply probability of C. Okay, multiply 4 over 8, multiply 3 over 8. Then you will get 3 over 16, which is not equal with the intersection of B and C. So from here, we can know that B and C are dependent ataupun not independent since probability of B intersect C not equal to probability of B multiply probability of C. Okay. So that is the way how you can prove whether the two events are independent or not. Okay. Dalam your textbook, ada some of the other... Uh, example so you can uh, browse okay that's all